Hi, I'm Cranium Gary and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be running Lionel's new Lion Chief Plus locomotive, the Yard Switcher SW2. And I found some things wrong with this locomotive. So stay tuned, I'll point out to you what I found wrong with this locomotive. So all aboard for a model train adventure with Train Room Gary. All right, Lionel packs these in uh, foam crates. Just open up the end clamp, and then we'll just slide it out. And there you go. All right, let's get the uh, dedicated controller out. Now here. We have the uh, Milwaukee Road symbol right there, Milwaukee Road. This is going to be for the switcher. All right, let's take the top off. And there it is. The switcher. And there's the uh, instruction manuals. Let's get it out of the box and let's get it going. The uh, typical Lion L setup is they have these blue ribbons out here. Hopefully we can just pick this up and get the engine out of here. And uh, that was pretty easy going. Let's remove it from the uh, plastic bag. That's a good looking engine. I kind of like that bright orange. All right, it runs on uh, three uh, Batteries, they're triple A's. I've been using these Duracells. And what this set sets up is it's pretty easy to set up. You just pop these batteries in here. And what I like to do is put a little name tag on the door here. Here's the date the batteries went in. And just pop that in there. And it lasts about a year. Now it's held in place with the uh, one's, one's Phillips screw. These are the extra traction tires. Traction tires, and there's my label. Like I say, the batteries last about one year. Really, is no you need to use rechargeable batteries. All right, it's a pretty good looking engine. It's got uh, you know the front and. Uh, Rear automatic couplers, it's got two smokestacks, a bell. Looks like up on top here, a handbrake. Before you put the locomotive on the track, you want to take a look at the bottom of the locomotive and check out these switches. This is the smoke on and off. Transformer or remote operations. And the last one is on off for rail sounds. The horn and bell announcements will still work when this is in the off position. All right, we got the locomotive on the track and power to it, and we're getting that chirping sound, and that's gonna go away when I give power to the remote. And here's the bell. And the horn, you can pitch by blasting it. You want to, uh, Operate the couplers, you hit, here's the rear coupler, front coupler, just hit the shift key, and then tap on the coupler you want to use, it's a really cool sound, let's do the other side, and of course this middle button is the announcements. Now there are several announcements, I believe there's two in the park position and two in the run position. Headlight, give it some bow for safety. All 
All right, there are three ways you can run this. The second way is with the re universal remote. Hear that chirping sound? We will turn on the remote and then pick out a channel. Let's put it on channel one and just hold it. Now it's local is on channel one and there's the same thing. We got the clearance to pull. Let's give a little bit of horn blast. And we'll pull back the remote. And move it out with the universal remote. Now with the universal remote, you can actually run three locomotives. That's not a bad way. I kind of like the, either the dedicated remote that comes with the, with the locomotive or the universal remote. The third way you can run it is with the uh, app on a uh, phone, like an iPhone 7 Plus in my case, or an iPad. Let's take a look at that. Oh, app from the App Store. We'll just turn on the app. And it should look for the locomotive and it found it. And of course, here's your Everything's the same as the announcements. Still waiting. Am I clear yet? Over. Roger that. It actually looks, yours. looks pretty good. Thank you much. Another thing I notice is Out. if you look up here at the, uh, it should say here the, the number of the engine and then road name. And it's not doing that because I don't think Lionel has yet updated their uh, this app yet with all the new locomotives that came out this year. Now once the locom once this you have it programmed correctly, it should say the actual locomotive number. In our case, it's uh, 1649 in the picture of this uh, switcher locomotive. But we're not getting that right now. The cross over here is your throttle. Well, I did find one problem with this locomotive. The front coupler works. Let's take a look at that. See how it pops open. Let's reach over and pop it shut. Once again, like I said, I did find one problem here. The front coupler is working. Hit the shift key and then the front coupler. See how it pops open. Now let's move it forward and take a look at the uh, back coupler. You see a problem. All right, we're now looking at the rear coupler. I'll hit shift and reverse. You notice it doesn't move. Makes the sound, but no movement. So I'll have to send an email to uh, Lionel, ask for a uh, return authorization number, and send that back. So that's, that's one thing I really find negative, along with the uh, image not appearing correctly on the iPhone 7 Plus. Well, that's better be coming over the internet. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Remember to ring the bell to get all the email notifications from my channel. Rate and comment. As always, cheers to Detroit and Mackinac Railway, and check out these fine videos from my YouTube channel.